What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Let's Play Diablo 3 with our hardcore Witch Doctor playthrough. We are continuing as Citra, who is now level 39. And continuing once again, catapults raised in Stoneforge. Zero of three. It is grim out here, but we've seen worse. Let's go ahead and summon our zombie dogs. We are going to go ahead and need our gargantuan. And it looks like these minions are definitely getting a lot stronger than before. Or maybe, I'm not necessarily too sure, maybe it's because... Uh, we're on normal difficulty, of course. But I'm not sure. Maybe we do need to go ahead and upgrade our items. I don't like the look of that. Colossal Golger. And it looks like we have a boss here. Maybe getting some nice loot, some nice money. <laughs> Awful weapon and flawless amethyst. Okay, so basically what we're doing is we're looking for a variety of catapults. And they should be around here somewhere. Ah, looks like we have Captain Heil. Thank the heavens you're here. We're down to four lads until reinforcements arrive. Trouble is, the lift stopped. We can't see what went wrong through all the muck down there. Oh, what now? Uh-oh. One of the brutes from below, Captain. What do we do? Private, if you need to be told which end of the sword goes where, you haven't been paying attention. Fight to your last breath, lads! <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny because obviously we have some very powerful weapons, some very powerful uh, armor, and all of these units just go down so easily. But obviously, I guess that's the price we start at pay for obviously playing on normal difficulty and hardcore. Obviously, if we die, we are going to lose, uh, and obviously have to And of course, we'd have to go ahead and restart all over again, so I would not want to do that. Here we are. Get ready, men! Victory! Citadel Bindings. Anything exciting? We have a new mace with a lot of intelligence, but it is a two-handed, so I don't think we're going to do that. We have a 15% experience flawless ruby, which obviously we already have equipped on our helm. Vitality, which we do not need. Okay, so basically we can obviously make our way, uh, you know, westward, but let's check out this weapons rack. Nothing worth our while. Still looking for those catapults. I'm sure they're around here somewhere. I'd have to say this is probably one of my favorite zones so far. Obviously, uh, it makes you really feel immersed within the Diablo universe. And it's pretty cool. All sorts of chaos. Here's some nice boy, boy. <laughs> all sorts of chaos, all sorts of fighting. Very fantastic. So we are almost on our way to level 40. I would argue that by the end of this episode, we'll probably find our way over. Fallen Prophets, still looking for the catapults. <laughs> we do so much damage. I will never stop fighting. You know this. This, this, this ruin. I wonder if there is even a shot of my friend. It will cost us everything. Victory is the only option. <laughs> Okay, anything over here. Let's go ahead and use our soul harbor whenever we can. Getting a little bit of extra intelligence and life for every enemy harvested. So we've got three ways to explore up here, over here, and down here. And I think I would like to make my way down before I make my way up. Got some dead demons. Anywhere and everywhere. 
And I'm hoping that sometime soon, maybe I'll have the additional passive that gets me an additional zombie dog. That would be pretty amazing. Uh-oh. They're back. <laughs> Demon troopers anywhere and everywhere. And Morgan's satchel. Transferring to Bastion's keep is as dull as I imagined. The soldiers spend most of their time gambling. I guess this is what I should expect from this hollowed-out rock. A shadow of its former glory. Still, I am here to provide for Anna. I hope she is well. Okay, let's make our way to the north. Up on top of the keep. Wow. Alright. Now I'm guessing it wants us to continue on up. I have no idea what that was. It said an event was started. Or maybe just a few exploding corpses. Okay, we've got our inventory, 92 intelligence, uh, gargantuan damage will be increased, absolutely going to take that. And we get some uh, additional damage. Alright, once again we find ourselves at a crossroads. Could have gone up, could have gone straight. There he goes, there they go! Oh man. There, a worthy foe. A demon trooper. Electrified fire chain. Well he's not gonna last very long. A well deserved death. Well, I'm wondering, should I spend the time and go check out that tower? I think I'd like to. It looks like we have a variety of other ways to move as well. Let's see if we can explore what we can. I'd obviously love to get some uh, additional money and obviously get some additional items. Maybe we can even find a chest. Nope, just some oily oil. You know, part of me wants to go ahead and find a new weapon, because this is a level 31 weapon. We are, of course, level 39, almost 40, and I'm kind of tired of looking at the spear. I think I would like a staff or a dagger, or a one-hand staff if that's even a thing. A quest! Okay, Sergeant Burrow. You must be the one that lit the signal fires. Help me free the recruits so they can raise this catapult. Over here. Okay. Free the recruits so they can raise oh, the Excellent. Sun. Let's protect the recruits while they raise the catapult. Okay. I don't think we freed them already. Oh, maybe we did. Let's see if we can find two more. Here they come, here comes one. Need to find one more. Or better yet, I'm assuming it's gonna go no matter what, but with three it would obviously be faster. Almost there, about halfway. Treasure Goblin has a seat. Oh man, they're everywhere. <laughs> Need more time. Alright, here it looks like we did finally grab a third recruit, unless I missed it earlier. All these enemies are dying and dying, and there's really nothing they're gonna be able to do. 
But maybe I shouldn't say that. I don't want to jinx myself. And the catapult has been raised. Let's see what uh, damage can dish out. I love how it just infinitely grabs ammo somehow. Infinitely reloads. Now we've gained 5,000 XP and quite a bit of money. Once again, continuing on, we need to find two more catapults. I'm guessing they're all around here. Here's some crates. Let's make our way up this way. A damaged watchtower and some boiling oil. That guy looks pretty dangerous. Fallen overlords and prophets anywhere and everywhere. <laughs> the battle is lost. There is no hope. All right, looks like we have found our second catapult. I'm wondering if we're gonna have to race. It looks like we are. But is it going to be enough to stop this invasion? Lieutenant Levine. Hold the more of those wretched demon hellbearers will be here any moment. The soldiers need to be protected. The platform will rise more quickly if we don't lose men. Sounds like a plan. Here comes one, here is the other, looking for our third. Here he is. Well, uh, while we're here, looks like there's some uh, archers to the south of uh, down there. Oh my god. Demonic hell there. Oh, uh, it's you and I'm here. Okay, our second catapult has been raised. This archer has somehow stayed alive. Well, <laughs> no, he hasn't. Goodbye. Okay, socketed obsidian staff of agony. There's the staff I was talking about. Uh, nope, not what I wanted at all. It obviously does more damage, but it lacks intelligence and vitality. So we obviously aren't going to do anything with that. Still looking for our third and final catapult. I'm assuming there it is. But let's obviously go ahead and check up here. Nothing but burning oil. This is a very massive fortress for Citadel. Any type of weapons? Nope, just dead archers. And here we are. Lieutenant Clifton. Are you alone here? Of course I'm bloody well alone. Everyone else has gone and died, but I'll be damned if I leave my post. Make yourself useful and spin that winch. I'm not going to use the orders yet. I wonder if I have to keep spinning it every now and then. Ah, uh, looks like I do. You know what? I bet I don't have to do anything at all. But it would just be a little bit slower. Let's click it whenever we can. I guess he stopped. Almost 75% of the way there to grabbing our final catapult. At least as far as I'm concerned. Demonic Hellflyer. And here, of course, is our catapult. 
orders from Asmodan. I do want to go ahead and uh, loot that. Uh, promise Captain Ho I'd watch my temper. Do me a favor, and don't mention that I shouted at you a little, all right? <laughs> Of course they failed him. We will seize our victory through bloodshed. And here is our town portal. I need to go back. Return to Bastion's Keep Stronghold. Now that we have all of our uh, catapults up and running. With your paltry catapults, my demons breach the depths of your keep. Once they've claimed the Black Soul Stone for me, your entire world will burn. This sounds incredibly dangerous. Asmodan's demons have opened an enormous hole in our walls and are flooding into the depths. If it is not closed, the keep will be overrun. Then the breach must be sealed. I will see to it. All right, find the keep depths the level the two. I wonder if I should sell everything first. You I see? probably should. You can kill any of us at any time. Right. Um, here we are. Here's a merchant. We are gonna sell all of our items, but we are gonna keep the amethyst and the flawless ruby. And let's go ahead and obviously repair. We have quite a bit of gems as it is. Okay, nope, don't want to salvage. All I want to do is repair 101 coin, and we have, what is it, 73,000. That is quite a bit of money. Checkpoint has been reached. Find the keep depths level 2. Wow, all sorts of uh, skeletal archers and marauders. Definitely a different feel than uh, the outside. Well, they still got some uh, demon troopers though. My strike is true. Into the door, dead guardsmen. Soul rippers are the bane of the living. Creatures born of the endless malice churning within hell. Agile and swift, the rippers cover ground quickly by latching onto prey with their enormous tongues and then leaping on top of their victims. From this point, the ripper cannot be deterred. It has begun to feast. I have been fortunate enough to learn much of the Barbarian's complicated history in my time. Yet the origins of these large, mighty warriors are hazy at best. Legend holds that they are the offspring of Bolkathos, an ancient who embodied their ideals of strength, bravery, and courage. Okay, so we just unlocked Vision Quest. When you deal damage with corpse spiders, which we don't use, firebombs, plague of toads, or poison, poison darts, your mana regeneration is increased by 40%. So this basically means we have an infinite amount of mana, but uh, we don't necessarily use any mana. <laughs> obviously, if we had a different build, I think rather than the wall of death, we could obviously take. I believe it was spirit barrage. This obviously does a lot of damage. And then, of course, couple it with... Um, we don't need mana. I'm sure there's other ones. Gain life each time Spirit Barrage hits an enemy. So basically, we would have infinite mana and infinite health. But nevertheless, we are going to keep our Wall of Death. I did see that we got new zombie dogs. Um, basically, right now, we have summon zombie dogs chilled to the bone. Basically, enemies who are hit by your zombie dogs are chilled, which obviously doesn't probably do a lot of damage. It probably just prevents the enemies from getting we closer. We could either poison them, 
Or we can get uh, zombie dogs that burn our nearby enemies. I feel like leeching beasts would probably be the best, but let's try out our burning dogs. And we have to resummon them. And once again, we have a new fetish army. Devoted, devoted following decrease the cooldown of fetish army from 120 probably to like 60 or 90. But I would rather keep the gargantuan. And I do like how our new zombie dogs look. Though I'm wondering, what exactly is the difference between poisonous dogs and flaming dogs? I'm obviously assuming that both do extra damage while the frozen dogs slow down enemies. Um, I'm guessing fire damage is pretty much a burst type of damage, while poison on the other hand is probably DOT damage over time. I'll have to go ahead and I'll have to check online. Or maybe particularly some enemies probably take more damage uh, with poison rather than flames. I guess it really depends on where exactly you depend, uh, plan on going. Dead Guardsmen still trying to find the Keep Depths level 2. Here's another pack. Follow the Barbarian the part children two. of Bull Cathos settled in the northern steppes, an area that is now known as the Dreadlands. Theirs was primarily a nomadic and tribal culture, though they had a few permanent settlements such as Ceseron and Haraga. A group of revered former warriors known as the Elder Council ruled the barbarians. You die! Okay, so I wonder. There are a lot of troopers in here, and it seems like we're getting more and more by the time the further down we go, so I'm guessing we're getting kind of close, though I still don't see a golden arrow showing us where to go. But it seems pretty linearly, uh, this level at least. Obviously, there's really only one way to travel, and I do like how we get 30% speed bonus, or 0.3. Ah, uh, now once again we have uh, a crossroad. Should go north and east. I'm guessing I do want to go ahead and check out the north, but it looks like it moves as well. This looks like a dungeon. Demon Trooper. There goes my speed boost. I really didn't like that. Oh, a legendary chest armor. Feeling does it stop? <laughs> okay, here we are. Chest armor, war mace of agony, and lucky to Xanta of the mind. Please be good. I hope it has intelligence and vitality. We have a new transmog. <laughs> new intelligence, far better armor, more damage because it's intelligence, more health. We get resistance. After earning a survival bonus, quickly heal to full life. Not necessarily uh, what I really want, but obviously we aren't going to complain. We also have a bunch of extra damage from our magic moto. I'm going to miss having the snake, and actually it's really not that much more. It's probably about 30 extra intelligence, but we do get a little bit extra gold. And this belt does have more armor but less intelligence and less vitality. I'm very happy with my new chest plate. I would even argue that it's probably worth exploring whatever we can. I'm wondering how well our catapults are doing up top. Needs more time. I'm guessing that these two areas will combine eventually and meet up. Not Demon Troopers! And here we are, a weak wooden door. This is where I'm guessing both of these zones will meet up. Hmm. Your evil undoes you! Well, I'm wondering, where exactly are we supposed to go? It's probably this area that we've missed. But nevertheless, it looks like we have a fleeting shrine. Movement speed and pickup radius have been increased. 
Is there going to be a chest over here? It looks like it is a narrow passage. It will end. There's the chest. Bleak Battle Sword of Agony. Does it have intelligence? Probably not. Not really. I can't believe we've already reached level 40. Feels like we've only really been playing for just a few days. Still looking for the Keep Depths level 2. 8 items crushed, giving me movement speed. I'm gonna have all of my zombie dogs do some damage. Looks like we've got some other enemies in here. Can we get a wall of death? Yes, we can. And all we need to do is just chill behind, and no one will be able to touch us. You know, it would be really awesome if I could get better, like, cooldown reduction, because then I could obviously use more wall of death. Or better yet, having two would be amazing. Okay, weighted wristbands of the barbarians, or the barbs. I feel like we could also fall down and die, <laughs> which we don't want. Man, this is a very big dungeon. There's the end. Right up here. I also have the ability to make my way down. I'm guessing this is where they collect magma, or at least lava, and, uh, yeah, I don't know, use it to forge their weapons. Weak wooden door. And we have key depth level one. The demons think to ambush us. Evil is closing in around this key. We must protect the innocent. Finding the breach is going to be the hard part. It seems like these caverns just continue on and on and on. Not yet. Zul Darkshade, Desecrator, and Frozen Pulse. Looks like we also have a Vagrant Reprisal. I think I really am enjoying all of these new zombie dogs. We better get Infernal Dogs. That was invigorating. Here's a crate. <laughs> oh man, quillbacks everywhere. The spirits aid me. Well, I also I feel like this is uh, not necessarily as linear as we used to. So I'm wondering if we're even heading the right way. The caverns are still opening up, or better yet, uh, the keep depths are still opening up. It makes me wonder though, how big is this area, and are we heading the right way? Well, it looks like it. Demon Raiders. <laughs> Not only are our zombie dogs doing damage, but we are as well. I wish I had a better use for my W. I'm not really sure that I like any of these. I probably could go ahead and get exploding dogs. I'm sure they would do a lot of damage. But I just don't necessarily like the idea of continually summoning them. But maybe if they do enough damage, it might be a good idea. Okay, uh, Siege Bridge. I'm guessing this is the way we're supposed to go. I strike at your heart. A lot of money and a sacred Brogan to the mine. Do you have anything exciting? We have 89 intelligence, which we don't need. 102 intelligence. Absolutely going to take that. And then we have a ring with 110 intelligence. I think what we will do is keep our legendary for now. And now our intelligence is at 1437, which is probably a lot of damage. Uh, inventory, hover over intelligence, increases resistance, and 1437% extra damage.
You know what would be cool? If your zombie dog and Gargantuan would pick up items for you. Alright, well I guess we are going to have to go ahead and end this episode here. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you all have an awesome day, and I will see you in our next adventure.